to the 0pm introduction video for the Luxembourg Centre for Systems Biomedicine. I'm Emma Szymanski, I'm heading up the Environmental Chem Informatics Group at the Luxembourg Centre for Systems Biomedicine, part of the University of Luxembourg. We're actually located on campus Belval, which is uh, close to the city of Esch zu Alzet in the south of Luxembourg, close to the French and Belgian borders, so not in the city at all. In 0pm, uh, we're in Web Package 5, Substance Grouping, looking at prioritising the millions of chemicals we have in the chemical registries. For the purpose of our project, we've picked a few classes to start with, and these will be the triazines, the triazoles, and the PFAS. Um, and these are our so-called box one chemicals. Uh, and this is so that other partners in the project can work on some of these priority chemicals while we go about prioritising the hundreds to thousands or millions of chemicals that we're looking at. With that, I'd like to hand over to the rest of our team so they can also introduce themselves. Thanks for listening. Hi, my name is Emma Palm and I'm a PhD student at the Environmental Chem Informatics Group. In my project, I focus on persistent substructures in transformation products and predictions of transformation products during water treatment. So for the transformation product predictions, we work together with the developers of Biotransformer to expand their current prediction models to also include disinfection transformation products. And for the substructure persistence, we're currently working on extracting transformation data from databases such as PubChem. And for this, I have been developing an R app with the Shiny package. Hi, I'm Pavio Chisi. I'm a research and development specialist in the Environmental Chem Informatics Group. And as part of the Zero PM um, project, I work on making chemical data file that's findable, um, um, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, thereby expanding um, suspect list and adding chemical identifiers um, and annotation to databases to help improve high resolution mass spectrometry workflow. PM. Zero pollution of persistent and mobile substances. This project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme under grant agreement number 10103675.